We're gonna and just tell us the thing that strikes you most based on your conversations at the tables, based on our conversations here today. How do you leave it with this group? Courtney, you want to start? As, as we've all been talking about, it, it's about the data, it's about integration and, and disruption. And I think that's really at every level, from regional targeted advertising, and by targeted, I mean to regions or locations, uh, or alternatively about how uh, privacy is affecting data collection, et cetera, and how we're going to move past that, and whether people ignore it or continue to collect or collect in the background or whatever it might be. So it's really about what the next levels are for everybody and how data and the insights from it impact it. Nico? Yeah. Yeah, so we had a, a really great conversation about um, many operators don't really use their data um, enough. So, so operators could do more with their data and, for example, personalization. Then we also had a discussion on whether the operator data in, was enough from the richness of the content to actually create effective personalization. Um, so it, it, it was a more, let's say, more, let's say, uh, not, let's say, like a very strategic conversation, but a very relevant conversation because I think it, it, it throws light on the fact that um, even though we're talking about, you know, Netflix and, and all of those, let's say, very futuristic developments, Internet of Things, interactive fridges, that there's still some very kind of a lot of data that's not being used for value within companies. And there could be much more being done with the data. Hmm. So let me just follow up on that. That's really interesting, right? Because we've been talking about there's so much data out there and there's going to be more and more of it. Is everyone overwhelmed with it and will the human side of things ever be able to catch up with that amount of data and, and actually use it effectively? Well, I mean, that, that's supposedly what artificial intelligence is for, right? To, to weed through all of that and to... to create value out of data. Um, so artificial intelligence by itself is not intelligent. It gets more intelligent if it has relevant data to make it intelligent. Um, so it, there still requires that companies think about what they do with their data and how to apply the artificial intelligence. It doesn't happen by itself either, right? So um, I think in the end, there's so much opportunity out there. And uh, you said earlier, you know, it's, it's a rather depressing scenario. And I would say it's a rather exciting scenario. Absolutely. Yeah. And then follow up on that, um, we had another discussion that is linked to this, and that is if the operators will be selling advertisements. And I believe they will. I believe that is going to be the next step, but that's a huge change for a pay TV operator and telco, which is very often a pay TV operator today, uh, from being a, a utility who's just selling capacity to actually selling intelligence, uh, which this is all, all about. But it's data out there, you want to make information out of it, and in, in its essence, it's actually old-fashioned marketing segmentation. You're just trying to make it more tinier, more refined, more better in hitting exactly what the uh, consumer is interested in. And we've talked about it before, make the information relevant, and then it will be consumed. But that's have been uh, the problem from Time the beginning. <laughs> exactly. That's right. So, uh, but it, it forces the operators to change and think about their customers in a different way, which I think is good. I think that's good too. And um, let me, um, maybe we have time for one last question. I was just thinking about one question which was slightly addressed already, which is, uh, especially in Europe, new regulations around privacy. Uh, what do you think is going to be the impact? And how do you think people in the room should think about it and maybe they should already take different actions towards you now being compliant with the new regulations? What is your, your view about that? So it was a topic that came up at the table that I was sitting at and I think we can't underestimate the capacity for some of the big companies who collect data to find workarounds for these things. Even if you look today, right, Google updated their terms today. 
So if you went to go do a Google search today, even here in France, you had to click on I accept the new terms. If you don't accept the new terms, you don't get to play with it, right? So there you go. That's their workaround to it. Um, that said, I think there's way, again, if you're asking the right questions or you're collecting the right data for the right questions, you can continue to develop the insight that you want, right? It's, it's the, Olivia said before, it's having the panel is not a bad thing necessarily if you're asking the right question to the panel, right? And same thing for collecting data. I think many companies are scrambling right now to get ready for this legislation. And um, nobody can really claim to be let's say know exactly how this is also going to pan out because there, there is the you know the word the text of the of the law but you know how does that, that get interpreted also so so there's that whole dimension but but certainly it's it's a massive change um, i think it's easier for the destination sites or or somebody like google where basically it's it's you know people come there and they they accept the new terms however they have to ensure data portability they have to ins ensure more data transparency so there's also it's not just clicking on something they have to ensure certain things around the data which is much more than they had to do in the past so there's there's a lot of changes that that will happen and this portability aspect is interesting um because what you know how will that affect um, the way that, you know, so far data has been very guarded, but what if the consumer can take their data out of one environment and move it into another one? We don't know what that will really mean yet. So I, I, in, in general, there was, you know, the, I think the opinion is that it's, it's, it is good for consumers because it's, it's valuing their data, but it does cause the companies to have to scramble and adjust and, and change right now. What do you think, Stefan? I, I also think it's good, and it's one of the abuses I think has happened in the U.S. who doesn't have that uh, stringent uh, um, legislation as we were starting to get here. I also believe that from an operator point of view, which we're talking about here, they are fairly used to handle personal data in the huge billing systems where you can actually see where people are and uh, how they are using their mobile phones, for instance, and, and all that stuff. They, they can track basically everything and they are required to give that data away to security police and, and uh, if there is some, some crime happening, you, you, that is saved, you need to save it. So they know how to handle this. The, what you do now is you, instead of just having the mobile data, you add also how they're watching TV. And before it's actually coming into information, it's depersonalized. And you're looking at it in segments. You can break it down in areas. You can sell pizza to someone, uh, someone who's watching TV, and probably they come up and say, do you want to, watch, do you want to have a pizza delivered in the, in the halftime? And then you say yes, and then you give you information, and that data is delivered to the pizza delivery guys. But the fact that it's happened in this region, that is the information that you have gathered as an operator, and you're selling the commercial for it. So I think there's going to be a lot of work for a lot of companies, but I think the pay TV operators are probably pretty good uh, already now with all the information they're gathering from all the other services to, to handle it. Well, first of all, I want to thank our panelists um, and also the audience for interacting with our panelists. This is, I, I've learned a tremendous amount. I think everyone did today, and it, and it seems as if these are the final days, or they may have already passed, for how things used to be done, and we're emerging into a whole new world that we used to theorize about, but is actually happening. and. Uh, no one's going to be able to forecast where it goes because, as you mentioned, Stefan, that is the nature of disruption. It will be disrupted. It just doesn't stop and fall into steady state. It's going to keep evolving and evolving. So learned a lot. And uh, give these guys a round of applause, please. And we'll move on to our next session. <laughs> <laughs>